The trace route is pretty much what it sounds like. You are tracing the route that data follows from point A, usually your computer, to point Z, the website or other destination service. Internet traffic doesn't go in a straight line. The data will be routed through a number of different nodes and hubs from proxy servers to CDNs. Running a tracer out will give you a lot of information about what is going on between these nodes so that you can more easily understand why your data has stalled out. The actual process of how to run a trace route is pretty simple, but it will differ slightly depending on what operating system you're on. To run a trace route in Windows, press the Windows key plus R to open the run window. You can type in either CMD or PowerShell and Windows will open the respective tool. Once it's open, just type trace RT in the URL or IP you're tracing. The data you're given back can look confusing if you're not used to it. The basic info is the number of hops your data takes to get to its destination, then the speed at which the data took to get to that point and back to you. And lastly, you see the actual locations of the machines that handle your data. On Mac, the process is very similar. Open terminal and type trace route plus the website or IP you want to check. The data you get from a trace route can be a little confusing, but it doesn't have to be. First up, let's talk hop speeds. The trace route gives three different times for each node that it traces. That's because the trace route sent three separate packets of data to that node. Doing so lets you see if there are spikes or anything weird happening between them that a single ping won't catch. In general, you'll see differences within 10 or 20 milliseconds, but if you start seeing differences 30 and above, something might be going on. And if you're seeing differences in the hundreds, there's definitely an issue that you should check into with your network admin or internet service provider. Now, asterisk and node locations. You might sometimes, but not always, see an asterisk in place of a ping speed in your trace route. Basically, this asterisk means that the data for that packet was stopped, denied, or lost. It also may have timed out. In this example, the asterisk is at Comcast line, so you would know to contact Comcast about the problem. Perhaps if you want to know how to run a trace route to a particular server, but not just from your own computer or location, KeyCDN has a really nifty trace route tool that you can use. What is very useful about this tool is that you get all of the same information, but from numerous locations around the globe. Using a service or tool like this one can help diagnose precisely where the connection issues are coming from. And there you go, that's how to use Traceroute. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.